Well, hello, my friends. This is Gladys from Gladys Garden coming to you again to continue with the building of our album, our large album. Um, pardon me, my voice is really graspy. I've had a lot of dust here in Arizona today, a lot of wind, so a lot of allergies going on. Um, so I'm I apologize if I can't speak correctly. <clears throat> Excuse me. So our next step, since the last we spoke, we are getting ready to create the main page. Uh, excuse me, the main pages in order to build the book from there on. Main page means this is what you're going to connect to the spine right here, and then from once we have them in there, then we'll start building the other pages right on them. And I'll give you the measurements that you're going to use. You're going to need seven pieces that measure 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. So seven of those. And you need, you're going to need also seven pieces that measure 12 by 6. So here they are. I have already created one page right here. And I'm going to build one right in front of you. You're going to need a scoreboard for that. Um, somebody was asking me a question earlier. Um, I don't think I put um, all the ingredients or all the materials, <clears throat> excuse me, that we were going to be using for um, the book. The reason why I didn't write them down is because I don't know. I'm still, you know, I'm working as we go. But I say I'm going to calculate, you know, give or take about 50. Uh, sheets of cardstock, whichever col color is going to be your scheme. Um, obviously, the three pieces of chipboard that is 12 by 12 and thick. And we did talk about uh, score tape and the Tyvek. So, if you have those things already put together, you're good to go. But I'm calculating that it's about seven, uh, 50 pieces of the cardstock. And as for papers to decorate, if you're doing it in a Disney theme, I would calculate uh, close to 52. So I would say between 40 and 45, give or take. Um, and just remember that sometimes we make mistakes and we have to get a different page. So that's that's just about. All right, so we're going to get our pieces. They are the measured six by 12. And we're going to make a score line at half an inch, excuse me, quarter of an inch on each side. Quarter of an inch. You're probably, think, you're probably thinking, why would we do that? That's so small. I'm just going to do one in front of you guys. And then we're going to put score tape on that. Because we are working with a, six, a 12 by 12 page, I want to utilize as much space as I, you know, as I can. <clears throat> And they're not going to come apart, I guarantee you. So you put that quarter of an inch tape in there. Get your bone folder. And then fold them. Give it a good burnish with your bone folder. There. Now we always miter our corners too. Alright, so we're just going to cut catty corner right there. This is just a voice um, bulkage in the corners. Okay, now that we have it there, we'll remove the, the tape backing and we're going to get one of those big pieces. I'm going to remove my scoreboard because we don't need it right now. And this is, a, uh, excuse me, this is a perfect square so it doesn't matter where you, you, you start. And you're going to Put it right up here, just flush to the edge, and you do the same thing with the next one. Flush to the edge. Okay. Ooh, let's see, why is that too big? Did I not do it correctly? Did I not measure this one correctly? Let me see. Oh, let's see. No, it's 11 and 3 quarters. So, why? Uh, let's see. Let me remove this. Let me measure this again. Oh, this is a little shorter for some reason. Okay, let me get a different one then. 
And you know, I'm not. I'm just going to make it work. That's what I'm going to do. It's just too much to waste, you know? I'm just going to bring it down a little bit that way. And I'll make it work. One way or another, we'll make it work. There. Nobody's going to see it. It's going to be covered with paper. So there you go. There's a there's a page that has a, a pocket. And now I'm going to explain to you how we're going to utilize that. Once uh, you have all this, obviously we did this yesterday. And we're going to put tape on both sides. We're going to use the half an inch tape. And I'll show you. Let's see. Half an inch, half an inch right here. So I'm going to show you how I put the tape. Oops. All these pieces are sliding. So I begin right here on the first one. And I, oops, this is backwards, sorry. I kind of put it as a bracelet here because it's easier for me to, to, you know, keep it and not go everywhere. And you're going to go around. And there it is. So, and then you tear it. Same thing for the next one. You put your tape there at the edge. Bring it down so it covers the whole thing all the way down to the bottom of the spine. Go around. Burnish it so it sticks to it. And right here. I hope you can see what I'm doing correctly. All right. Same thing over here. We're just repeating everything until they are all covered. Let's see. There's that. It's not difficult. It's just, you know, a little bit of a tedious work. And the reason why I have you do this before and go sideways, um, I'll sh it's so that at the time that you remove the tape backing, you can remove the whole thing instead of peeling one from here and then one from here. It just comes the whole thing at once, and you gotta peel it. You gotta, uh, you need to peel them all of them anyway. So it's just a little little trick, but you can do however you want it, as long as you put tape. I guess I don't really care how you take it off. That's the way I do it. And I've kind of, you know, gotten used to that. All right, last piece right here. And I am going to go down here. And voila, we're done with that tape. And remove that. Now, in order for me to put one of those pages, so you got to put them all together. So you're going to end up with seven pieces that look like this. So you have like a pocket here and it extends over here. And from there, we're going to start building our uh, pages. So I'm going to remove the first backing here. So you see how easy it just comes, the whole thing comes out? That's the reason why I do it that way. But before we put our page on it what I'm going to show you is that we need to trim or miter the corners on the spine because and I'll show it to you how it looks that way right now this is how much I take out very little see I don't know, that's, that's better right there just angle it enough for it that when you put your paper in there, it's not fighting you because they're the same size. So if you don't give give it a little bit of a, you know, encouragement, it'll make it difficult for you. So now all we have to do is just put it right over like that and like so. Let's see, let's open it up. And sometimes you just got to move these other ones to the side. There we go. Open up the pocket like this. Start in one end. And let's see. There we go. You just gotta finagle with it sometimes. Let me see. It's really, really sticking to its itself. There. There, right there. See, it just goes right to the bottom. And I wanna make sure I have the same you know, amount here that I have in the bottom. I'm just trying to, you know, get it to, to balance. It's there. I'm going to burnish. And then we bring it closer to the camera so you can see it. You see that? It's perfectly right to the bottom of the, of the spine. Right there. 
So, that's how we're going to do all seven of them. You will remove the whole tape. You will, you know, um, trim the little corners and put each paper. So you're going to end up with seven pages like this. Then we're going to um, see, um, we're going to and adding, uh, be adding some flips and flops and pockets here and pockets there. So we have a lot of that, you know, going on. As you can tell also, I've already covered the inside part of my book, which is the front part. And now I have here the other paper that is going to go on this side. So let's go ahead and put it together. Let me get my tape. And then this is all I'm going to do for tonight and tomorrow I'll continue. This is getting late and my throat is just pain today for some dust that we had today. So. I probably sound horrible anyway, so hard to understand me. And remember, we're working with a piece right here that is 12 by 12. So I cut my piece of paper at 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. So I'm just going to put it here, leaving that, um, you know, eighth of an inch all around it. Like, that, like so. And there it is. Isn't that nice? Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm also going to add matte medium to this. So let me see, let me get it. Which is the same thing that we were using yesterday to cover the front right here. So we did it in the front so it's all nice and, and protected. So now we're going to do the same thing on the inside, but not onto the pages, just the inside covers. The other thing that I got to do yesterday. I um, added this, um, they're not brads, but they're um, nail heads right here. So I put some in here, and then I put some in here, one in each, each corner here, right there. Um, just, you know, as a decoration, you don't really have to do it, and if you can find them, it's, it's still going to stick. It has nothing to do with security, it's just, you know, for looks. So, um, this is going to be for this video until tomorrow when I get a little bit more rested and then we'll continue. But for right now, this is it. You guys have a great night and we'll talk to you soon, okay? Take care.